So traditionally, whenever I do RDLs, I do an elevated RDL, different than a regular RDL from the ground. I'm gonna show you why. Um, my boy Zach asked a question, and then it's just from some research, some guy named Knees Over Toes uh, did, uh, did a while back, and then Quentin Forts actually showed me uh, to help really kind of elongate the, the hamstrings. I'm gonna show you a normal RDL of how I do it right here. So whenever I do a normal RDL, um, if you look at the range of motion here, watch this. Look at the range of motion. I'm up. Look how far down I'm going. Right? So that's my normal motion. That's all far, how far I'm going. So essentially, with the, with the normal RDL from the ground, the range of motion on the RDL is limited because I can't fully stick down to help with my mobility and flexibility. And I'm gonna show you guys an actual um, RDL that's elevated. I had two risers of elevation. I'm gonna show you the difference between the range of motion I get with this elevated RDL versus um, from the ground. So, when I go here, first, I'm kinda already extended. I'm already, I'm already extended. Hips, hips are a good flexible position, right? I'm really, my hamstrings are already kind of stressed. Sounds more difficult that is, but the range of motion, a lot longer than, so the range of motion is a lot longer than the range of motion from the ground. What does that help with? That help with what helps with long, making the hamstring longer. Lengthening the hamstring helps injury prevention, especially when it comes to explosion. It helps with explosiveness, helps with durability, helps with muscle endurance, helps build the hamstring. A longer hamstring can also can mean a larger hamstring. So elevating your RDLs really allows you to be uh, more in tune as an athlete, more flexible, uh, stronger, explosive, whatever you're trying to attack. So if you're doing RDLs, add a little elevation to them, I promise you it'll be worth it.